All right, guys. Uh, so this is the second recap. I'm sorry, I messed up the first one. So I'm recording the direct screen. Apparently, uh, I didn't get it uh, the first time. So I had a really, really good day. Uh, thanks to AMC. Um, so AMC at the open uh, was a strong. It was popping up like uh, about two percent, and you know had some activity in the pre-market. Opened really strong. Punched through the weave app on a one minute chart and I to try to take it a one minute open range break up did pop up but really struggled on 46 so I sold some got out of it because I really didn't want to get into the washout AMC you don't know if it's really active or not it did came below the weave app pop back up I went long again and again had some struggle at the 46 and I got out of it so that was that's my second trade on it um, and uh, so that's that's the first trade that's the second trade really didn't make any money out of it and then the third trade i saw that it's coming back volume was picking up the time and sales were, was really telling me that i should go and then i jumped back in there at 45.75 uh, and uh, as you see we just punched through the 46 went up all the way up to 47 on some pullbacks i added more here at 46.80 popped up again about 40 uh, about 47 and i'm still in it uh, all the way up to 47.87 so um, yep I'm still I still have 200 shares there to we'll see if we can uh, we can get to 48 and uh, yeah so it did kind of a double top here and sold off it did uh, do a 920 trade uh, um, from uh, 46.90 all the way up to 47.20 so that popped uh, is called 920 trade when you have a very strong stock going up and uh, on a pullback to the 20 moving average popped up popped back up to the 9 moving average so usually you can get something out of it in this particular case it couldn't uh, uh, continue the move up so it's setting up up uh, if i were long here i would have get a stop that by now yeah so amc was nice so essentially it was a really nice five minute opening range breakup abcd five minute opening range breakup really nice i tried to get something out of neo2 at the open uh, and uh, it just didn't work out i think i had two stab on it no, actually one. So popped up uh, one minute opening range breakup. I lost it, and I pulled back. I added, pop back up. I added more to get through a high of the day. It did, and I got out of it at almost at the break even. So yeah, I made one hundred eighty-three dollars. So nothing, uh, nothing too crazy about it. Yeah, see, yeah. AMC is really popping back up. Did a really nice uh, nine twenty trade. I don't know if I were here at nine twenty, I might have got a stopped out, but it definitely wants to go to forty eight. You know, I'm up eight thousand uh, dollar, and I still have these two hundred shares, three hundred shares of AMC, just for fun. See if I can get to forty eight. If not, I'll be out of it. Could have been good ad, but I just don't want to add that. All right, guys, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm all flat on my swing trades, uh, like TNA. I know IWM was running up, uh, so T I had a lot of TNA, and uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm still staying on cash and see what we can get. Let me see on the Alliance account. Uh, uh, Lions account, so uh, yeah, I'm all, all cash over there as well. Um, do, do you remember that there was a Lamborghini or uh, Lamborghini or cardboard uh, <laughs> trade on TQQ or TNA? So I think I kind of made the money yeah. enough for both of them. Anyone, uh, I was thinking of going into um, US and Lisa Lamborghini. Anyone work in the do you know anyone in the US? Because in Canada, there's a lot of taxes on it and it's so expensive. But I was thinking maybe going to Seattle, get a Lamborghini or something and drive it up for a while. <laughs> total I think I think, you, I think you'd have some problems. You, you've got to get um, you've got to get um, Lamborghini or you know, whoever, if you're buying a Ferrari, you've got to get them to uh, to write a letter that says it uh, meets the Canadian because it, you can't assume that the car just meets the Canadian standards, even though it's it seems logical. No, and you I can drive they, it as a tourist. I think every six months you get the insurance from oh, yeah. the U.S. You can come every six months, and then you go back to the states and come back again, and you can, you, you can renew that. The only issue is that uh, the a car company has to accept the leasing company has to accept that you're live uh, you're driving it into Canada, and the insurance would cover anything that happens in Canada. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, Lori, I might go to Vegas. Anyways, uh, that's a different discussion. But uh, seems, no, no. Uh, seems a little yeah, it's circuitous. Uh, but I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you tonight in the webinar, PCT Bootcamp at 7 p.m. And then the Kyle webinar at 8 p.m., guys.